Hello everyone, I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am the author of Running, Maximize Performance and Minimize Injuries. Thank you for viewing today's episode of Dr. Ozello Sports Medicine Report. Today I am going to go over the spinal accessory nerve. The spinal accessory nerve is sometimes just called the accessory nerve and the spinal accessory nerve is also known as cranial nerve number 11. The spinal accessory nerve is the motor innervation to the trapezius muscle, the upper part, the middle part, and the lower part. Injuries to the spinal accessory nerve usually occur due to a direct trauma to the nerve causing a contusion. These injuries usually occur in any type of contact sport. It could be football, lacrosse, any type of martial arts, speaking like karate, kickboxing, judo. So usually injuries to this nerve occur because of direct trauma. Symptoms of an injury to the spinal accessory nerve include pain and weakness in the trapezius muscle. If it is a long standing, there can be atrophy in the trapezius muscle. There can be an inability to elevate the shoulder blade, meaning basically shrugging your shoulders. There can be weakness in shrugging your shoulders. There can be an inability to abduct the shoulder. Abduction is when the arm is raised up out to the side. There can also be a lack of motion in the scapula because remember the trapezius muscles attach to the scapula and they move the scapula. So if there is an injury to this nerve, to the spinal accessory nerve, because the spinal accessory nerve, like I said, is the motor innervation to the trapezius muscle. If there's an injury to the spinal accessory nerve, then obviously the trapezius muscles are not functioning right, and the scapula may be weighing, especially the superior medial border, meaning the top edge, the top inside edge of the scapula may be sticking out, and that is usually worse during shoulder abduction again abduction is raising the arm out to the side and during shoulder external rotation especially during a resisted shoulder external rotation now it's time for the disclaimer if you feel you have an injury or an entrapment or an impingement of the spinal accessory nerve please see a medical professional watching this video does not take the place of seeing a medical professional Go see a doctor of chiropractic or see another type of medical professional, get a proper evaluation, get the consultation, get the examination, get the proper diagnosis. This will set you on your path to recovery. A very good way to tell if there is an issue with the muscles that control motion of the scapula is through what is called the Yanda movement pattern test, the push-up test. Do a push-up. Obviously, you're not going to be able to see it, so you're going to need someone else to watch you or someone to video you. If you cannot do a standard push-up, then do a push-up up against the wall and just do the standard movement. Have the hands up against the wall, move forward, and then push yourself outwards and have someone videotape the motion of your scapulas. How the scapula moves on the spine, on that rib cage, it's called the scapulothoracic joint. View how that moves. See if there is winging of the superior medial border of the scapula. Again, see if that top inner aspect of the scapula sticks out when you are doing a push-up or a wall push-up. If it does, that points to there being an issue with the spinal accessory nerve. Recovery of nerve function after an entrapment, a nerve compression, a nerve contusion, a nerve impingement, whatever type of injury happens to that nerve, recovery of nerve function is much more likely if it is a mild injury or if there is a shorter duration of the entrapment or the compression. So do not hesitate. Please take action immediately if you notice that you are having these symptoms. Also, recovery is usually much faster and much more likely if you decrease or you completely eliminate the activity that is exacerbating this condition. So please do not hesitate. If you think you have this condition, get a proper evaluation, get the proper diagnosis, and get the proper professional treatment. As a doctor of chiropractic, I have seen issues with the spinal accessory nerve in my office. 
This is a condition that can lead to some serious health issues if you do not get this taken care of when it first begins. Like I said, a long-standing nerve impingement or compression can cause atrophy to the muscles. When there's atrophy to the muscles, obviously the muscle's not functioning properly. Another area has to take a greater workload and it can just cause a negative sequela of consequences. So please do yourself a big favor. If you are having some type of issue with the spinal accessory nerve, you're having these symptoms or with any other type of nerve, do yourself a big favor and take action immediately. Get professional care. Like I said, it's a doctor of chiropractic, nerve entrapments, nerve impingements, that stuff that we see every day. Once you get your proper diagnosis, you want to take action immediately, continue with your professional care with the doctor of chiropractic and start your self-treatment. Self-treatment for an injury to, a, to the spinal accessory nerve, you want to strengthen the trapezius muscles and strengthen the other muscles that retract the scapula. Retraction of the scapula is pulling the inside borders of the scapula towards the spine. So you want to strengthen the middle trapezius the lower trapezius, the rhomboid major, and the rhomboid minor. There's an exercise that I created called roll-ups. I'm gonna put a link to that exercise after, at the end of this video. So you can do that. It's gonna to help to strengthen those muscles. It is an isometric exercise. Also, you wanna strengthen the surrounding muscles, like the rotator cuff muscles. That will help you a great deal, strengthen the upper traps, and you wanna stretch the chest muscles and the anterior shoulder muscles. Also, you wanna stretch the neck muscles. If any exercise that you do, doesn't matter if it's a strengthening exercise, or if it's a stretching exercise, if that elicits symptoms or intensifies symptoms, then you want to either modify that exercise so it doesn't do that, or you want to just cease doing that exercise for right now. You want to stop immediately because you never want to do an exercise that elicits symptoms or that worsens symptoms. You want to do exercise that do just the opposite. You want to do exercises that are going to help you to recover. So you have to listen to how your body feels and pay close attention to how your body is responding to each and every exercise. Also, you could perform what's called nerve slide exercises. A nerve slide is a non-exertion, non-resistance, precise motion exercise that helps to lessen nerve entrapment. There is a specific nerve slide exercise that you can do for the spinal accessory nerve. I have a video for that one. I'm going to post that one at the end of this video so you can watch that. Do these exercises, the nerve slides, do them every day, but you don't want to overdo it. You want to learn the motion because if you overdo it, you can exacerbate the nerve, you can irritate it, and that's just going to lead to more issues. So learn how to do it properly and do, you know, maybe between 10 to 15 repetitions a day. What the nerve slide exercises do is they help to restore the proper motion between the nerves and the muscles. Therefore, it helps to allow the nerve and the muscle motion to be better and it allows that to obviously move the way that it should so it's lessening the entrapment caused by scar tissue on the nerve. Thank you, thank you, thank you for viewing today's episode of Dr. Ozello Sports Medicine Report. If you have any questions about the book, you could go to my website, championshipchiropractic.com, where you can get additional information on the book, and you could also connect with me on other social media platforms. Please feel free to like this video. Also, if you have questions, if you have feedback, if you have suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. You can subscribe to my YouTube page, Dr. Donald A. Ozello, DC. Every week I publish at least two videos. On Mondays, I have my show, Two Minutes of Anatomy. On Wednesday, I publish Dr. Ozello's Sports Medicine Report. Please feel free to contact me with any questions. Like I said, you can leave them in the comment section below if you have any issues with the spinal accessory nerve. Thank you again for viewing. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. And always remember, train hard, train smart, utilize nutritional strategies that work for you, stay injury-free, and accomplish your goals.